to my third tutorial of 3ds Max 9, um, Pimple Pie, and today I'll be teaching you how to mental ray render in 3ds Max 9. As you see here, I already have my setup. It's a little Christmas, happy holiday type thing. It's uh, some Christmas ornaments, kind of. They're really quick. So, <laughs> anyways, we're just gonna jump right in. All right, so. What we're gonna do first is come over here into system. So, right. so it's the systems that they use. I'm gonna daylight. Click kind of in the middle, and if you look on the other screens over here and over here, you can see this thing kind of going up. Try to get that up in the air to where you can click it. That's all you need to do is click it. Okay. Now under the modifier tab. Uh, for first we're gonna mess with position. You can either do a daytime location. So say you get your location. Book a return to Florida for me. Um I'm just gonna make up time. Uh it's eight or seven, okay. Yeah. Okay, so you see it's pretty bright, you know. But if you change the hour, see so it kind of revolves by the hour, and then the months change it. But I don't really, I don't really use that too often. I just go with mental, I mean not mental, manual uh, override. Sorry, it's a little late, I'm a little tired. <laughs> so yeah, just check manual override if you want, and position it wherever you want it. That's what I always do. That looks good. Um, get a little bit higher. That's good. Okay. Now, uh, under the modifier, you see where it says sunlight. You have to make sure the sun's still checked, or the sun is still uh, selected. You see under sunlight, check active, standard, change standard to MR sun. And under skylight, change the skylight to MR Sky. And usually they ask if you want to add an environmental map automatically. You do say yes. I already checked yes when I was doing this before. Is that the third time I'm trying this tutorial? I'm pretty tired, so I keep messing it up. Alright, then you go to rendering. Um, advanced lighting, exposure control and check exterior daylight. Make sure this is logarithmic exposure control and check exterior daylight. Okay. Now under render you scroll down to uh, assign renderer and usually it says production default scan line renderer. I changed mine to mental ray. You have to also. So you click here, and you choose Mental Ray. Alright. And now it's time to add some tutorials. Sorry, Bob. Alright. So, click M, or press M on your keyboard. Come over here where it says Standard, click it. And you'll see some new stuff. Arch and Design, Car Paint Material, stuff like that. It's all mental ray stuff. So click Arch and Design. It's a good one to mess with. And you see they automatically turn shiny. Because it's they're all under this right now. Alright. We're gonna make uh we're gonna have a little bit of fun with this. We're gonna make the uh first we'll make this ornament a glossy finish. Which says create strong reflections without affecting colors or maps. So we're gonna make it a glossy red. Yeah. Uh, now we'll throw it up there. Okay. Let me just fix this. Blah. <laughs> Blah two. Oh my god. Blah three. 
Sorry guys, just going through some materials. And I guess the hooks will have the same material. Oh well, we'll do that later. Alright, so this is going to be a glossy red, this one. And one, I kind of want to make one that's a, uh, a chrome. So go to your next one that you're going to make your uh, actual ball ornament part. And we're going to make a chrome one. Chrome is a very nice material. So we'll go with that. Okay. And you won't see the real results until we actually render, just so you know. Okay, and the last one, we'll do a glass one. Now, we're going to go with a, a glass physical. I never tried that. Oh, whoops. Changed that one on accident. Once again, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> yeah. It's like your next material you're going to use for your glass ball. And we're going to make that one a glass physical. Okay. Now for the hooks. We'll just do all the hooks. Uh, all the hooks are going to be the same. And we will do... A satined metal. We'll go with that. I never used it. We'll see. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. And now we're also do the satin metal on this. On these parts. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, then the floor. I kinda wanna do a tiled floor. So go to Arch and Design again. And this time choose glazed ceramic tiles. Preview it. And they're a little big. If you want to resize the tiles like I'm gonna do, come over here where it says color and you'll see an M next to it. Click that M and right here you can change the tiling. Now I know glass ornaments aren't or ornaments aren't freaking huge. So we'll go 1.5 by 1.5. That's about right. Okay. Now we get our angle that we want to render at. Our sun's right there, so we'll render like this. Now come over here in your rendering. Choose your output size, whatever you want. And just render. Okay. I'm going to pause this and wait for it to finish. So. Alright, we're back. We're done rendering. And it came out actually pretty nice. Looks pretty good. I. The satined metal that we used for our hooks and everything really caught my eye. I really like that. Uh, I don't really like the glass too much, but it was experimenting, so. Uh, this chrome. This is the chrome. Now, uh, actually, you can see in the reflection, the sun, the sky, that environment sky that I told you to put on. And the tile reflects really nicely. So, yep, yeah, that is how to mental ray render. Good luck.